moon, and sun, it's sure to each the piper comes. And while God and goddess give for free, down below there will be fees. Despite perfect love and perfect trust, there's no way around it. Cash is a must. We've sought within, but come up short. So we come to thee, your help to court. If you would aid this temple's life, a three-dollar donation would be nice. Remember well that gifts when sent return threefold of what was spent. But if you can't, well, blessed be. We shall survive, so mote it be. Mary Meet, this is Lady Nefties of Universal Pagan Temple, here with a tribute video to a famous witch, Sybil Leek. Sybil Leek described herself as just an ordinary witch from the New Forest in England. She wrote more than 60 books such as The Diary of a Witch, Numerology, The Magic of Numbers, and The Sybil Leek Book of Fortune Telling. Sybil's training in the craft started very young. She learned of herbs and Eastern philosophies from her father, and she learned of astrology and divination from her Russian grandmother. She married at age 16 to a concert pianist who was 24 years older than she was. The marriage was short, and her husband died two years later. She then returned to her grandmother, but then she was sent to France by her to join a coven to replace a relative of hers as high priestess. Sybil returned to England some years later and lived with a group of gypsies and acquired more knowledge on the craft. She was also a high priestess of the Horsa coven for a short period of time. She eventually met her second husband, Brian, whom she had two sons with, Stephen and Julian. Now, in the 1950s, she became popular as a psychic, an astrologer, and a witch. And as media attention of witchcraft grew in England, she was being pursued by cameramen to the point she had to set up decoys in order to hold coven meetings. Due to all this attention, she was asked to move out of her home by her landlord. This started the chain of events that led to her moving to America. She moved to New York City and she worked with Dr. Hans Holzer, a parapsychologist, and did many TV and radio shows. Then she moved to LA afterwards and met Dr. Israel Rigardi, who was Alistair Crowley's secretary. Now, Dr. Rigardi was also a master in ritual magic and the Kabbalah, and together they practiced Golden Dawn rituals. Sybil then moved to Melbourne, Florida, and split her time in between living there and working in Houston and sometimes holding lectures throughout the United States, England, and in Europe. Sybil passed away in her home in Melbourne in October of 1982. Although she was a major influence on modern paganism, she sometimes found herself at odds with other witches. She did not like ritual nudity, which is a requirement in some traditions, and was against drug use in rituals. She also believed in cursing. Sibylique should be honored and remembered by pagans and Wiccans and witches today for her contributions to the community and to our greater knowledge. Now, for next week, we'll be learning about another famous witch, Lori Cabot. Now, until next time, blessed be! If you enjoy the videos that we make and what we do with our channel, then please donate to Universal Pagan Temple, and together we can change the world. Links are in the description below. And until next time, blessed be!